Today we'll be taking a look at the SMI Stay and Play Duo as part of a complete flat toe setup for your 2017 Chevrolet Colorado. We'll start with our base plate, which we'll be using Roadmaster's EZ5 base plate kit. In addition, we'll be using Roadmaster's diode wiring kit, SMI's Stay and Play Duo supplemental braking system, Roadmaster's battery charge line kit, Roadmaster's automatic battery disconnect switch, Roadmaster's Falcon all-terrain non-binding tow bars, and lastly, Roadmaster 64-inch single hook safety cables. So you're looking to flat tow your Chevy Colorado? Well, we've got our whole setup here, and there's several components we're gonna need to complete that. Let's go over those now. The first component you're gonna need is your base plate. This is the interface that's going to allow your vehicle to be connected to your motorhome and pulled behind it. This base plate is easy to install. You do have to remove the fascia, but there is no drilling required. It replaces your factory tow hooks, and is squeezed between the bumper beam. It's gonna provide you an attachment point for your safety chains, as well as a place to hook up any Roadmaster tow bar. You can hook up other brands using adapters found here on our website. When not in use, the connection point for your tow bar is removable. Simply pull the pin, twist it, and pull it out, and this will give you a more factory appearance. The next component is our diode wiring. This wiring kit allows you to transfer signals from your motor home through the included cable, down to our connector, and to the lights at the back of our vehicle. Our diode wiring is gonna connect into both our passenger and drive side taillight assemblies, intercepting the turn and taillight signals. As you can see here, we have our right turn signal, left turn signal, tail lamps, and brake lamps. The next component is our SMI Stay and Play Duo. That's an electric, supplemental braking system. It uses signals from the motor home as well as an inertia sensor to proportionally apply the brake pedal to assist with stopping. The operating unit located under the hood taps into the brake vacuum system and uses air pressure to apply the brake pedal. Our braking system also includes a breakaway switch and the safety device has a cable attached to it so in the event of a catastrophic disconnect the pin will get pulled, applying our braking system to help our vehicle come to a safe stop. And when the braking system pulls the pedal, it'll illuminate the LED on the back side of our mirror. This way we know the system's working properly. And while this system is designed for a motorhome that has hydraulic brakes, if you have air brakes on your motorhome, you can get SMI's Air Force One. It installs fairly similarly, but is designed to work with air brakes on your motorhome. For our Colorado, we'll also need a battery disconnect. This allows us to disconnect our battery from the vehicle with the touch of a button. Since our vehicle requires the battery to be disconnected when placed into tow mode, this way we can do it quickly and easily. Our wiring just connects to the battery and then to a switch that you'll mount inside your Colorado. And now when we press our button, it'll disconnect our battery. If you press it again, it'll reconnect our battery. We've also installed the battery charge line kit and this will allow our motorhome to charge our battery as we're going down the road. And now even though our battery is disconnected, it is powering our braking system and a few other components. This way we can ensure when we get to our destination, our battery is gonna be charged up and ready for us to start our adventure. We'll attach it to the center post on our six pole connector and that way we'll receive our charge from our motor home through this circuit. You've now got all the necessary components installed on your Colorado, but you need a way to connect that to the back of your motor home. We're gonna be using Falcon's all-terrain tow bars to do this. As the Falcon All-Terrain is a Roadmaster product, it easily connects to our base plate that we have installed. The quick connect arms on our base plate will easily attach to our Falcon's arms. We slide those down in the slot there. We take the large pin, slide it through both arms, line up the hole on the opposite side, and put the locking pin down in it, making sure to fold it over so it can't become disconnected. Our tow bars are non-binding. This is great because if you're parked on uneven terrain, it can be difficult to disconnect it from your base plate. You can simply pull the lever and that'll allow the arms to free up, slide in and out, making it easy to get them disconnected. The only thing left is to wrap your safety cables. The nice thing about the all-terrain is that it has a channel on each arm to route your wiring and cables through. So we simply slid those through, made our connections at our base plate, and on our motorhome side, making sure to cross your safety chain cables, hook up your wiring, which we've also ran through the other arm. So we have our seven pole on our motorhome side and our six pole on our vehicle side. 
and then hook up our breakaway switch for our braking system. Depending on your RV, you may need a high-low adapter. You want to be towing as level as possible. And since our RV is so much higher than our vehicle where the base plate is, we are going to be using a six inch drop here to level that out. And now we can take a look at our Colorado as it's flat towed behind our motorhome. And that completes our look at a complete flat tow setup for a Chevrolet Colorado.